All right. Hey guys. Um, last time we were together, we were talking about leaves and all the different parts. And you had to draw a very large leaf on a black sheet of paper. And then you took glue and you traced all your lines. Now it looks very different than it did before. Um, now we have a slight texture here. Um, excuse me. We have a slight texture here from the raised glue. And so the first thing we are going to do is create a rubbing where we lay a sheet of paper on top and use a crayon with no paper. And we always use it laid on the side. With texture, as long as you can get paper. first, and you'll take this home today. And you could make as many of these as you wanted, honestly. It's kind of like a little printer, okay? And then now we are going to be coloring with the oil pastels. But remember, we're doing warm and cool colors. Um, and we want our leaf to stand out from the background. So we've got to separate our two groups of colors. So for our leaf, you're going to choose one of the two groups. And for the background, around it, you're going to do the other that we can see. Either. You decide which colors are are reds and oranges and yellows and colors on the color wheel. They are advancing colors, uh, meaning that they, they seem to move forward. They stand out more. And these are the colors that our brain and eyes notice and recognize first, which is one reason why um, warm colors like red, orange, and yellow are used in our communities, especially with um, street signs and traffic lights and um, emergency vehicles. A stop sign is one of our most important signs out there, and it is bright red, along with um, the red light on a stoplight. We need cars to be able to stop, and we need them to notice that. Um, the yellow is more of a winger color, running you to sound, get ready to There's around. Um, our truck. Um, we're not aware of those. And in construction zones, we um, we need colors. Even in nature, there are creatures that use colors like this as warnings. One, for example, would be the Black Widow Spider. Um, it's all black, but has the um, reddish-orange uh, hourglass shape on its back. And that's basically its warning sign to other creatures to, hey, you know, stay away from me. Um, and it's used in many other ways. Uh, snakes, frogs, even with um, birds. Um, so these are really our standout colors. They give us a warm kind of an energetic feeling. Our they're just a beautiful out and get your attention. These colors are a little more relaxing, soothing. The sky, water. Um, these do lower the heart rate and make us feel more at peace. Um, these uh, colors, you know, except for on a police car, um, we really don't see these used as much for emergency uh, sim uh, signals. 
Um, we see them on street signs, but they're usually for more informational type of stuff. So you've got to choose which one you want for your leaf and which one you want for your background. I'm thinking I'm going to choose warm colors for my leaf and cool for my background. Since leaves tend to change these colors right and are cooling. I'm using a variety of oil pastels. Oil pass. You, you can use crayons. Um, that's totally fine. Um, now all I'm going to do is be coloring inside a lot of these shapes. And I try not to color on the glue. It's okay if I do but I like to leave that glue line there. It kind of creates almost a stained glass look when this is all said and done. And I can color solid colors, or I can even come in and blend. If I want to lighten this wrap, I can come over it with a little bit of light and start to my orange picking it up when it um, but if you only use warm for the cool but that would take a really long time for this video. So I've got blue here. I could blend and mix with the green if I wanted to get a blue green color. I could add um, white if I wanted to lighten that up. I can even uh, use purple. Uh, in the entire paper. And what I like to do with just the white to light. Blue line. Because it sort of separates those colors even more. And makes them pop out. And in the end, this looks really neat and does have that stained glass look. So, remember, you're choosing between warm and cool. You get to use all of them, but one has to be for the leaf and one for the background. Alright, I hope you enjoy doing this.